Students, I think you are waiting last 15 minutes, isn't it? I was in TY lecture. I did not see the time, so I extended till 10.45. Then, uh, sorry, SY, SY lecture I was in. So, I have to... Um, so, then I realized that the time is 10.45, then I uh, end that lecture. <coughs> One second, I have to uh, open the PPT. Okay. During last lecture, we discussed about the mainframe operating systems, the uh, server operating system, the multiprocessor operating system, uh, and then personal computer operating system we have to see. Okay. No, personal computer operating system also we saw. Okay. What we saw in the personal computer operating system, it will give uh, very good support for single user. And it will support multi-programming, which is nothing but multiple processes at a time can be executed. And uh, very commonly uh, to create the word, uh, to use the word processor, um, or generally office suit and spreadsheet, uh, internet access for that, for basic uh, functions you can perform using personal computer operating system. Okay, in Windows, Windows Vista as example of personal computer operating system, we saw. And then we saw about the handheld computer operating system. In that, we discuss about PDA, personal digital assistant. PDA is a very small device. You can, it is a portable device. Wherever you go, you can just take and go. Even you can put in your packet. And in that, you can perform small, uh, you can use that as a small uh, notebook. Okay. Like you can note the addresses and you can use that as a calendar. And small uh, memory pad will be there. There you can write any memo. Uh, so, all those purpose you can use that. Instead of keeping a mini diary in a packet, you can use this PDA. Okay. Then in the PDA, a keypad 
if suppose we want to store something you have to type no then uh, there was a small keypad attached with the uh, pda and then you it, then later it allowed you to take the photos okay uh, and then small memory because um, that memory is a, a flash memory kind of memory that has used if you want to type and keep something no so that you could do using the pda okay and then i said the difference between the um, uh, pc operating system and the handheld device operating system is pc operating system has full fledged hard disk because pc uh, operating system you uh, will load many applications you will install many applications uh, but you will perform the pers the very basic task like internet surface uh, uh, surfing kind of thing okay symbion os palm os and all as example for that uh, handheld operating system handheld computer operating system is uh, students my voice is audible it's clear yes ma'am okay then embedded operating systems okay you know what is embedded system embedded systems are not our laptop or uh, desktop okay these are general purpose computing system which are general purpose computing system our laptop um, and a desktop where we use general purpose operating system that is called general purpose computers now laptop you can't call that as a embedded system then what will be the embedded system the electronic appliances we are using no electronic devices for example uh, a refrigerator washing machine a microwave oven beverage vending machine mm, all those are uh, television all those are embedded systems okay now these embedded systems how it is working because if you take a refrigerator nowadays there are so many options even uh, washing machine also there are so many options there are so many sensors in it initially washing machine we used only to wash the clothes and then we have to take the same we called that as a semi uh, no no before that we can wash the drum and the actuator will be there it will wash we have to take out the cloth and then we have to rinse and before putting the clothes in the washing machine we have to soak manually some time and then the soaked cloth should put inside the washing machine and then um, the washing machine perform only uh, rotation through rotating it will wash uh, and then it will not dry we have to take out the cloth we have to squeeze and then we have to uh, dry okay uh, so we can call that as a, uh, only washing that process uh, that function it will automate all other thing manually we have to do and after that there are so many options so now washing machine uh, will first detect the uh, what detect how much cloth you put no need to soak it before or some of the washing machines even you can set to soak also uh, and 10 or 15 minutes you will put the detergent and you will soak uh, in the washing inside the washing machine itself okay then um, you will put the cloth to the washing machine there is a sensor inside the washing machine that will sense the level of the clothes how much cloth you put okay if you exceed the maximum level of the cloth it will through beep sound or something it will intimate you it will uh, say to you then you will know that then you will remove the clothes and then you will put the detergent and then you will start it what will happen when you started after you started uh, it will start to get the water pump in the water inside the drum 
and then it will be filled. Uh, um, so that time also it will check there will be a separate sensor which will sense the water level. So after water level reaches to a particular uh, level, depending on the clothes, how much clothes you put, then it will stop pouring the water inside. So all these are what automated you automated functions that you have to observe. Okay. Uh, and then in before that also you can set many mode even um, hot water wash also you can set yeah. so many okay now when we are incrementing functions like this there are many sensors we have to the washing machine has everything should work coordinate coordinately they they have to coordinate each other okay during sensing the cloth the pouring the water should not happen when pouring the water, you should not put the detergent. I say it, it should work. Synchronized way it has to work. So when all these components are worked synchronized way, we need the operating system. Okay. So all these are also having operating systems. You may wonder. Okay. This will also have operating system. Why? Because there are so many tasks, so many functions. Functions should be handled by some uh, middle person. That is our, uh, some intermediate uh, device or uh, some intermediary thing should require, should be required. So we have operating system. So in all these embedded systems, what operating systems are used, that those are called the embedded operating systems. Now, if you observe, how will you differentiate the embedded systems with the general purpose General purpose system, any, uh, and uh, you can uninstall, uh, depending on your requirement. But that you can't do in the embedded system. Embedded operate, for example, washing machine may, can you load any application? No. Okay, refrigerator may, can you install any application? No. So now these embedded systems are single purpose system. That is very important. These are single purpose system, operating system and the program, everything is embossed, hardwired, we can say, embossed on the hardware. Means you can't change. That's why we will call those software as a firmware, not software, firmware, F-I-R-M. Firmware, okay? Those are not software. You can't change that. That does not have flexibility. So, um, so uh, that needs these embedded systems are generally single purpose system. Okay. So using the washing machine, you can't uh, cook the food like oven. In the oven, you can't wash the clothes. So everything is specific. Okay. So single purpose system, these are single purpose system. Even our ATM machine is also embedded system, ATM machine. Okay, because routinely it will show, it will do single task only. You can, um, it will identify your card. It will communicate with the uh, bank uh, where the card belongs to and it will confirm the balance. And according to your requirement, you want to draw, withdraw the amount, it will give, I say, routinely, continuously, it will give, do the same task only. So that is also single purpose system. ATM also single purpose system. Okay. So, in a minute.
Sam, you're on mute. Okay, okay, sorry students. Um, okay, ATM is also what? Uh, embedded system. It will not support any installation of new application, as I said. It consume low power. Uh, now, this embedded systems are, I, as, I, as I said, you know, uh, washing machine, that and all. Actually, it will consume more power only. But uh, uh, only these are not embedded systems. So for example, forest fire finding system. Uh, forest may, if any fire catches that, uh, system that embedded system will find and be informed to the centralized uh, uh, central controller okay so immediately the action will be taken so these are also in remote places also uh, there are many embedded systems those embedded systems cannot consume more power because those are battery operated embedded systems okay so it uh, uh, this uh, power consumption is generally a constraint in uh, embedded uh, operating embedded systems. Okay. When it is installed in remote places where the power supply is not directly available, that so low power consumption. So, according to all these, no, uh, uh, for example, if you look at the kernel. Kernel is a, what is kernel? Kernel is a part of the operating system where actually the important services of the operating system will be kept. Important services of the operating system will be kept. For example, scheduling. So the, there will be a, a scheduler. The scheduler, scheduler is a program, okay? Our operating system is also a program, no? System program. So scheduler is a program. That scheduler program will be inside the kernel. Inside the kernel, matlab, other uh, users, no users, cannot access the kernel. It is a protected. Uh, we can say protect with the uh, around the that particular kernel programs. There will be a layer of protection. Others cannot uh, access. Only the operating system can access the kernel kernel programs. So if you look at the embedded operating system, the kernel programs, the kernel services will be very limited, very less. Because in general purpose computer system, may there are many applications will be executed. But the embedded system, may it is not like that, no. Very limited services, okay. So very limited what kernel uh, functions will be there. Now those kernel uh, functions, uh, uh, only to handle the limited kernel functions, we need an operating system. So operating system is completely different for embedded systems. Okay. For example, QNX, QNX, VX works, VX work. Okay. So all these are examples for embedded operating system. There are many more uh, embedded systems. Uh, there are many operating system which is which can be used in embedded systems and also other systems, other general purpose system also. But we here we are talking about only the uh, operating system which are used only in embedded systems. Correct, mm -hmm. Students, excuse me. So QNX, VX works, all these are what? Example for embedded system. Um, even Raspbian, there are some versions of Linux, all those. What? Okay. So operating system will be completely different. So embedded systems may what, what operating system? Now embedded operating systems, I said, no QNX and R. That you can't use in a general purpose computer because general purpose computer operating system need more functions, more functionalities. It should support more driver. So they need it to be able to attach with your system. No. So the drivers, device drivers, everything will be different when they with the embedded system. 
assigned to the general purpose system. The sensor, the sensor node operating system is also actually related to the system. But uh, what is sensor? Sensor means uh, uh, a device. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. We'll keep on change time to time. Students, you couldn't hear me clearly. Now it's clear. Okay. So sensor node operating systems. Sir. Ma'am, we can't hear. Dad, I can't hear. Ma'am, uh, and oh, also your screen hear. is not visible. One second, I think some network issue. Okay. Oh, is okay. Now, now, wait, now wait, one Okay. Uh, sensor node operating system. Students, can you hear me clearly now? Yes. Okay. So these are networks of uh, small, small, tiny sensors. Okay. When we say in, I said in embedded system, we will use sensor. No. So there sensor is a, a single component. Okay. The sensor can be used in any of the embedded system. But here sensor node operating system means there is a networked sensors that is called a separate system. Okay. It will, mean, it will not be a part of embedded system. Okay. So that separately they have given sensor node operating systems. So uh, sensor node means what? There are network of tiny sensors. Okay. Now, what is the use of this? These are used to sense some real-time factors. When I say real-time factors, it could be change time to time. For example, temperature. Okay, Temperature of one particular place will change time to time. No. Okay. Uh, any real-time factors. Now, I am talking with you. This is real-time. Okay. Whatever I am talking, that will reach you. If you want to ask any question, you will ask me. Nothing is predicted. Okay. I may ask any question also to you that you would have not expected. Okay. So that is real time. So any of the real time factors will be sensed by the sensor. Not only sensor, uh, vibration, uh, pressure, um, what? Pressure in the air, moisture in the air, moisture in a soil. Um, sound, all those are real-time factors. So, uh, water, as I said in washing machine, may water level will be sensed by the sensor. So, water level will be real-time, no? Now, how the water is getting filled, okay? So, water level sensor. So, there are many, n number of sensors. So, the sensors will be sensed. The sensor will sense the uh, real-time factor, what it has to sense. Okay, so that is called a sensor node system. In that system, what operating system they are using, that is called a sensor node operating system. 
you understand what is sensor sensor will sense any of the real time factors any of the real time factors matlab temperature pressure vibration sound light source um, all those will be sensed etc okay there are many each sensor node is a real computer which has um, cpu ram rom and sensor also in it that's why we are considering the sensor node system as a separate system not along with the embedded system okay so each and every sensor node system will have its own cpu ram rom uh, apart from the sensors okay so we can consider that as a separate system so this that system may have a separate operating system okay os will be very small here operating system will be very small matlab what operating system is a code no program so very simple very less number less lines of code would be there when comparing with the general purpose operating system code okay so os will be very small and simple because here ram capacity is very less very less ram okay for example 2k is the size of the ram okay uh, sensor node operating system example is tiny os there is a operating system called tiny os that is good example for sensor node operating system okay next comes real time operating systems ma'am can you repeat the example real time operating uh, of sensor node operating system tiny tiny means small t i n y tiny os when you write the name of the operating system no here it is a k sensitive okay tiny me t capital os o s both are capital okay tiny os without leaving space you have to type that is the name of the operating system which is used in sensor node operating system sorry sensor node systems okay yes 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 raspberry os raspberry pi no yes ma'am ah correct raspberry pi is a, a microcontroller based system uh, that is uh, that is that is used to create embedded systems okay so raspberry pi will have embedded operating system okay raspberry pi ke liye separate uh, native operating system is there that is called raspbian raspbian so that operating system is a embedded operating system that will fall in embedded operating system category okay so sensor node operating systems over next real time operating system this real time operating system uh, this real time operating system can be the embedded operating system or sensor node operating system see you have to understand one difference see all the embedded systems all you know what is embedded system now refrigerator microwave oven air conditioner uh, all these are embedded systems all i cannot say all the embedded systems will have operating system some of the embedded systems there is no multitasking so there is no need of operating system operating system will not be there only there okay this is one point about the embedded operating embedded systems so embedded systems where no operating system at all we are not going to bother about that because we are studying about the operating system no so we have to bother about only the embedded systems which has operating system okay there also embedded systems may have real time operating systems or non real time operating systems real time operating systems or non real time operating systems previously i said you no know, embedded systems operating system that you can consider non real time operating systems in embedded system but some of the embedded systems we will use real time operating systems um 
example of such uh, operating uh, such uh, embedded systems which need real time operating system uh, nowadays in four wheeler no cars may uh, air balloon is there you know accident it will predict the accident the moment the accident is going to happen immediately the air balloon will be blown in the seat in front of the driver okay so uh, because of that balloon the uh, driver no he will not be, he will not go and dash with the uh, steering okay so that air balloon is also embedded system remember that is real time operating system because the moment the accident predicted it is going to happen how it will find it is going to happen because the person will put the brake very fastly so the pressure of the wheels no that will suddenly change in high level so immediately the air balloon will be opened not only the sudden brake if the mom ex you have to find that as a microsecond the microsecond a particular uh, the vehicle is dashed with some other device immediately that will happen because after we dashed our car with some other vehicle no and then we are going back and we will come forward okay after we came forward only we will be injured okay so that will take some time no okay within that that air balloon should be blown to protect so see the time how time critical system that is. not only that even aircraft navigation system uh, aircraft uh, the pilot is uh, driving the aircraft if any obstacle is found you no know, immediately what the uh, system should react okay immediately that time is very crucial time critical applications so those are real time operating systems okay time bound operating systems those are so the real time operating systems can be used either in embedded systems or in sensor node operating systems okay so that is called a real time operating system so time so in a real time operating system time is a key parameter always okay we can say other examples also chemical leakage planet there is a plant ha huh? break uh, can, can a calculator be a real time operating system no calculator is not a real time operating system those are predefined uh, programs if you want to add something suppose you when you perform plus after typed two numbers then it is predefined know that it both should be uh, added and the sum should be displayed that is not at all a real time system that's not at all any video streaming system is a real time system uh all the time critical systems are real time systems time critical systems or real time nowadays in the smart watch we used to see the number of steps or the distance covered then that that be real time that is real time that is real time step count heartbeat and all it will uh, identify and tell no uh that is that is real time system and google's smart glass specs that is also real time system so there are many nowadays nowadays no operating systems the real time operating systems are very common in embedded systems real time system, real time operating systems are very very common in uh, embedded systems even nowadays we have smart shoes even the shoe we no need to wear the uh, smart watch your walking steps and your running um, Uh, timing how much time you ran and how much is, how much calories you lost during that running all those will be uh, calculated a chip which is inside the smart shoe shoe okay 
and uh, a particular yes. period ka after how much uh, weight you lost everything all the health related uh, parameters will be found by that uh, chip and it will say so uh, there are many thing now uh, refrigerator suppose uh, i am in the kitchen but the tv is in the living room i want to watch television what i can do i can't separately set to the television in the kitchen i can use the because refrigerator occupies a considerable place no in the kitchen kitchen or anywhere so this door of the refrigerator i can use as a display unit of uh, tv so i no need to have a separate space also to build, to keep the television and i no need to buy a separate uh, television here in metro central space is a constraint no so refrigerator screen anyway re refrigerator will be closed uh, when we are not using maximum of the time so on this on the door of the refrigerator we can use the television we can watch the uh, channels so there are technologies okay uh okay real time operating system so real time operating system time is a key parameter okay and real time operating system will have real time kernel why real time kernel because very limited services will be there inside the kernel because kernel if the kernel is very lightweight no it will increase the speed of the system speed of the computer okay so very limited services will be there in the real time kernel of the real time operating system there are many examples we discussed where we need the real time operating systems whichever system is a real time system those systems will have real time operating systems aircraft navigation system car balloon car air balloon system chemical leakage uh, chemical plant leakage finding system all those are real time system so we need real time operating systems there in real time systems also there are two types of real time uh, systems operating systems hard real time operating systems soft real time operating systems soft real time operating systems are now um, any video streaming applications for example now i am skype and all now i am talking with you you are listening this is a real time okay this is soft real time why soft why it is soft because when i say something you are hearing there are some network issue now just before happen but because of that uh, you did not have any very big loss okay anyway at the end you know what and all i thought you did not missed completely anything no there are small glitches but uh, over that why what is the reason for that because whatever i am saying that did not reach you at a time there is a delay there was a delay okay so that delay did not create much problem so that is called that's why it is called soft real time system hard real time system matlab and i i said no air balloon system in the four wheeler accident happens at that moment the air balloon should be blown otherwise what will happen if delay happens there it is of no use accident will be happen the person driver will be injured everything okay chemical leakage uh, finding system what will happen there if delay occurs leakage will be the gas will be spread everywhere people's life will be it is life threatening ta, uh, this event so the delay will cause very big uh, catastrophic effect okay where in hard real time operating system in hard real time systems so there in hard real time systems no the time is very crucial constraint the moment it has to happen okay 
But soft real time systems may, of course, time, time is a constraint because whenever we are saying real time, that the time bound, that is time bound. Okay. But time, because of small delay, it will not create life loss, something like that. Okay. At the core, you will understand what actually, in our example, what I thought. Okay. So that is called the soft real time system. So hard real time systems clear there are separate operating systems hard real time systems clear there are separate operating systems okay e cos e c o s e e hyphen c o s that is a example for uh, hard real time operating systems soft real time operating systems even any general systems we can uh, Windows, uh, C, and all. So, E cos, E C O S cos is an example for hard real time operating systems. Hard real time operating systems. Okay. Next comes a smart card operating system. Smart card, we are using uh, subscriber's identity card, our Aadhaar card is a smart card, mm, debit card, credit card. Uh, any subscriber's uh, identity card, e-cash card, loyalty card, uh, authentication uh, card, customer card. So there are many smart cards nowadays. Okay. So the smallest OS is what the uh, what the smart card. The smart card operating system is the smallest operating systems when comparing with all other previous operating systems. Because you may wonder, ma'am, we have a small card inside that where is operating system. See, you may see a particular, uh, that could be different in uh, uh, copper, May there would be a line in a card. So exactly inside that, you know, you will have a small chip. Okay, very small, tiny chip. So that is a processor, actually. Okay. So that will have operating systems. So then of, of course, operating system is that then small memory also required. Memory may only operating system will be loaded. Okay. So that chip will have small memory, not all this, all the chips. Okay, not all the smart cards. So that small, um, see, some of, we can call these smart cards as a microchip card or microprocessor chip card. Okay. Microchip means no CPU, only memory. That is microchip. Because there is no processing there. Only storage. For example, loyalty card. You, are, uh, you bought a customer card of uh, shopper stop. Okay. Whenever you buy, no. There is no computation is required there. When you buy, that point, depending on how much amount you bought, the point should be added in the memory. Okay. There you, uh, there you know you, that the chip doesn't need to do any computation, calculation, processing. Only keep on adding the data in the memory. So that is called a microchip. Okay. Some of the smart card, uh, which are called microprocessor chip, the chip which it has, no, that is called microprocessor chip. Okay, so that is that will have CPU and also memory. CPU and also all the smart uh, cards will have memory. Okay, but some of the uh, smart cards only will have CPU. The smart card which has CPU, obviously it will have memory also. Okay. So that is, um, ah, that is called a microprocessor chip. Okay, microchip, no CPU, only memory. Microprocessor chip, both CPU and memory, both are there. Okay. This kind of uh, smart cards, no, when it has operating system, that will have a very small operating system, very simple code. Okay. Uh, even SIM card, 
SIM card that is also smart card. OK. This will have, though it has a CPU, that will have very less processing power and very low memory. OK. Many a time, um, these smart cards know, will perform a single function, only one function. Example, the electronic payment card. OK. That will perform, using that you can perform single function. OK. There are some cards, smart card, which will perform multiple functions. Multiple matlab, not more like other uh, devices. Uh, not single function, two or more functions, two or three functions. For example, e-cash system, electronic cash. You can add the money and uh, when you purchase, it will be detected automatically and it will be uh, contacted whenever it is detected before detecting the um, uh, amount it will get connected with the concern account bank account all those are okay there are many uh, operating systems multos m u l t o s that is the uh, which is mult os okay we will call it as a multos m u l mul M U L T Mult O S. Okay, but you have to type. Uh, you have to write this in capital letter. Everything together, no space. M U L T O S Mult O S. And we have Windows Card, Java Card. All those are also. Uh, okay, yeah. All those also smart card operating systems. Windows Card operating system, Java Card operating systems, Mult O S. All those are. Examples for uh, smart card operating systems. <clears throat> See, in this also, there are some cards, contactless cards. There are some cards, contact cards. You That means you have to take, if you want to use that, you have to take the card and you have to give it to the place where it will be. Uh, it will have the uh, detecting machine of that card. OK, some cards are contactless card. You no need to take the card only. Sometimes when you miss the uh, loyalty card, no customer card, they will ask only the mobile number. It is not necessary. You have to take the card and go. Only mobile number, registered mobile number for that card. If you say that is enough, that is contactless. No need to contact with the uh, scanner. OK, so that is contactless card. All these are smart card operating systems. OK. That's it. These are the different types of operating systems. Next, we have to see the different uh, before that. No, uh, we have to see some uh, concepts. See, these are the uh, concepts. Related to operating systems, what is process? What is address space? Uh, what are files? OK, what are input output device? This already we saw how it will be protected. What is shell? All these we have to see. What is virtual memory? In all these we no need to discuss because later when we are studying other cons, other chapters, no, we will we will be seeing all this. OK, I just want to say what is process? What is address space? Um, Process, address space, files. Files will be created in hard disk. And what is virtual memory? All these we will discuss in the next lecture. OK. I just finished the lecture now. You no need to join again. OK. We will see the next topic in the during next lecture. Tomorrow is a holiday, so Monday we will see. Okay, 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 otherwise, if I continue the structure, no, there will also, there also, there are four or five uh, uh, structure of operating system that will take more time. It will be very uh, hectic for you. Okay. Okay, you all can leave. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Uh, students, about your PTM. Uh, 
i should put the message monday you will have ptm okay uh this uh, wp wait we have time i will show that one second students one second i i have to share file with you Sorry, what you asked? Commerce. Sorry, if I ask you. Where you saw the notice in the students' notice board, which is there in down floor. All the common students are there. Ah. Are you sure for first year? Yes, ma'am. The college is starting from third March. No, second March. Second March, then we will we will also start. I did not hear only this. I should S -wise, ask. S wise, S wise, we are starting at twenty first from Monday, I think, and F wise, we are starting on second March. Mm. But in the notice, it is mentioned or what? Only commerce and arts. Yes, ma'am. The table is. Mm. Then I don't know what is the reason. Then definitely we will also start. I'll just ask to ma'am and I let you know. Okay. Okay ma'am. Okay. Just wait. Huh? Hmm. Now I will be sharing that uh, defaulters which we calculated. <clears throat> This is for WP last semester. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm hmm. These are the subject till now not entered. Okay. They calculated but not entered. This is WP. This is a name. Okay. so see if the first this is the total number of lectures you attended abhishek roll number 1 are you there abhishek yeah ma'am 
What Abhishek? WP programming may only two lectures you attended. Ma'am, uh, I don't have Wi-Fi now. That's why. Net uh, problem sorry. is. Ma'am, I don't have Wi-Fi in my house. So sorry, net uh, problem in my data I am attending. But the total, ये इतना तीन महीना का attendance. One second, I will check. September to December. September to December attendance. This is. So in that totally two lectures only you attended. Huh? No, ma'am. Sometimes I attend in data and hotspot, so I can't able to attend the lectures. No, no, no. My question is. Using whichever mode you attended, you will be logging in in your account, Teams account. You have to log in, then only you can attend, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah, then uh, it will come no automatically here number of lectures. So WP may totally. Itna lecture thirty-three, I think total. But this thirty-three is not exactly thirty-three. Is some of the now practical and all one practical session is three lectures. Some of the days two lectures you had. I have come calculated all those as a single lecture. If I schedule once, that will be a one lecture. That's why it is coming low thirty-three. Okay. Otherwise, it will come more than fifty. Okay. In that you attended only two. Hmm. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, you got your result. Yeah, ma'am. I got my result. You cleared. No, ma'am. I mean, just Max, Viva. I got KT. All other subject you cleared. Yes, ma'am. How did you manage then? You asked materials from friends, or how you studied? I'm at the last point. I uh, re uh, referred the uh, with my friends. Abi, now see your case. Now next semester two exam will be definitely offline. Okay, so wonders like this will not happen in that you did not attend the lecture, but you cleared the paper. That will not happen. Please don't expect. So you have to study starting from the first itself. Okay, okay, internal also. No, generally I'm saying not only to you, because if anybody see this, no, they will ask first question. Even even principal ma'am also she will ask. Please check whether she cleared the papers or not. Huh? Now you are yeah, able to attend Abhishek. Okay, no, no. Now it is okay. You can attend all the lectures. Yeah, ma'am. Ah, uh, uh, for uh, in just one week, I will uh, connect Wi-Fi in my house so I can attend. Ah, uh, um, but you see, your name is there in default. Is that also chronic? Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, now, who's this? Anthony Raj Jackson. See, this is the total number of lectures. See, WP clear. There are two columns. No, the first one is total number of lectures every student attended. The second column is percentage. Okay, percentage of lectures you attended in this particular subject. Okay, my case, what I did, I did not separately calculate the uh, practicals and. Uh, Separately calculate the theory. Both I clubbed. Okay. Now you see this is four percentage attendance. So I highlighted this person is coming. This boy is coming in defaulters. Now next to here, Anthony ja, um, Raj, and then Anto Jebin is also defaulter. Even in single subject, if you are defaulter, you will be a defaulter. Okay. These three, no, in all, in the, both the subjects, you are a default. See, CS may only forty-four and thirty percentage attendance. You have to maintain seventy-five minimum seventy-five percentage attendance. Look at, and this two years, last year and also this year, we uh, reduce that to fifty percentage. Okay, then also you are coming in defaulters. Huh? 
now others this is uh tanmay tanmay is defaulter in css hmm tanmay shweta karna these two are defaulters and this karna is defaulters in both the subject Hmm. And then uh, nickel is a defaulter. He is also defaulter in both the subjects. Sorry, nickel. Just I keep here. Hmm. And then this is blank. Student, somebody attended. So here I put blank. Let it be. Okay. Then who is this? Rohit. Rohit attended only one lecture of WP. Rohit, are you there? Roll number eighteen. Rohit. Now also is not there. Rohit, are you there in the meeting? Pawar Rohit Vilas. That is only him. You know. Yes, ma'am. No, that is different. This this is different Rohit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So this Rohit is what not attending the lectures now also. See what will happen now if you are doing like this, and just before the semester exam. the university will decide those who are chronic defaulters they will not be allowed to they should not be allowed to sit for the semester exam so you will not be able to give the semester exam you will get drop please take it seriously and then jay kumar also defaulter jay kumar are you there no jay kumar dinesh kumar dinesh kumar Are you there now in the lecture? Ishwar defaulter, Felix also defaulter, Vyas defaulter. Rani. Vyas is defaulter. After that, uh, Palak is defaulter in CS. Okay. How come yours will not come because you're for fifty-four percentage? No. So uh, Palak, are you there? Palak Jain. You should inform this to uh, CS, ma'am. Ma'am, I have fifty-four percentage, but uh, you are highlighted. That means you are in. I think, ma'am, thought that seventy-five percentage is uh, minimum. Okay, so this you have to inform. And then. Um, I let sixty-seven then. Sorry. Sixty-seven percentage is also not highlighted. I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear you. I don't know. Your voice is very low. She didn't. She didn't highlight for sixty-seven percent. She may have been. Ah, that's what. She might have thought seventy-five because pre previously it was seventy-five. Only this year online lectures we are conducting, no? So we reduce that to fifty percentage. If minimum fifty percentage attendance should be there. If it goes below that, no, then you will come as a defaulter. 
so then uh, then you don't say i will inform to teach that teacher okay then what ishwar felix vyas Ushi is also defaulter in CSS, but fifty-eight percentage. Okay, so she will not come. Malkar Gopal is a defaulter. Role number forty-six. And then uh, Mahesh Nadar is a defaulter. Mahesh Nadar is a defaulter in W P. Saravanan is a defaulter. <coughs> then uh, wilkinson is a defaulter uh uday is a defaulter in both the subjects here i have to mark blank ma'am what does the green color indicate in the sheet name No ma'am, in Sorry? the number section. In the number section. In here. Yes ma'am. In number section. Number number. Ah, ah, twenty six fifty eight. Ha. In that, ah, uh, there are some green color. Green colors are defaulters. That means those are attendance percentage below fifty in that particular subject. You join now only. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. थोड़ा बीच में मैं discount हो गया था. हाँ. Okay. हाँ, ma'am. Then. Then. आप जब भी opening system तक सिखाएँ तब था. Prashant, role number eighty-two defaulter, because he is defaulter in one subject. And. Uh, uh, Parveshwar is a defaulter in one subject. Okay. And then Rajesh Kartik is a defaulter. He is the chronic. Rajesh, are you there? Rajesh. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what? Why were very less number of lectures you attended? Why? Ma'am, same same as roll number one, ma'am. We both stay in same house. Same house. Yes, ma'am. We both are brothers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm. Wait, wait, wait. What is? Uh, I should know that. Are you very left? What's your name? Ma'am Rajesh Karthik. Rajesh Karthik, roll number eighty-four. Rajesh Karthik. Rajesh Karthik and roll number one. Abhishek. ये क्या यार? नेम इज डिफरेंट अभिषेक जय कुमार पंडाराम रानी यस मैम सेम फादर सेम मदर 80 आ राजेश कार्तिक ओके बट दिस सेमेस्टर यू हैव टू अटेंड यू हैव टू मेक सम अरेंजमेंट बट एनीवे वी विल स्टार्ट ऑफलाइन लेक्चर आल्सो ओके सून Uh, but by the time till the time you have to attend the lectures otherwise your defaulters will go you will come in a defaulters okay ma'am okay next sajeev sajeev your defaulter in wp sajeev samuel jabraj sashidharan Sashi Dharan defaulters in both the subject and the percentage also very low. Shaban and Raj defaulters in WP. 
and then Aisha defaulters in CS. Mm. Sheikh Zaki defaulters in CS. And then Kunal defaulters in both the subject and percentage also very low. Uh, Thandal Sube defaulters in both the subject, percentage also very low. And then uh, Venkatesh defaulters of both the subject. And uh, Aditya also defaulter of both the subjects. So you all will be called on Monday. Okay, so I'll, now you have to say to your parent and keep. Timing will be informed you. But Monday, PTM. Oh, no, 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 no. For you, okay. FY, all the students' parents should attend. Yeah. SYTY, only defaulters' parents should attend the PTM. Now, for you, all should attend. All the students should attend. Look at here, roll number, uh, roll number 1, 2. Roll number 32, Sudha ma'am will conduct the defaulters. Roll number 1, 2. Roll number 32. Roll number 33 to 64. Roll number 33 to 64, I will conduct the defaulters. That means, uh, not defaulters, PTM, PTM meeting, I will conduct. Roll number 65 to 98. Roll number 65 to 98, Archana ma'am will be conducting the uh, PTM. Roll number 99 to 130, Shruti ma'am will conduct. Okay. So each teacher individually message you the timing when she will conduct the defaulters. I think three days it will be conducted because there are 30 students around each teacher. Along with the lectures, we have to conduct this. That will take more time. So three days may 10, 10, 10 students. I will call like that only. This is depending upon the teachers. But now itself, you say to your parents and keep Monday will be the PTM. Okay. All the students should attend the PTM. You, the respective student, will attend the PTM with any one of the parents. Your sister, brother and all should not attend. Okay. One of the parents should attend. Should sit with you in online. Okay. Okay. So, thank you, students. You all can leave. Ma'am, one more doubt. Ah. Ma'am, if both the parents are uh, at work, uh, what Members. we can do? What time your parent will be free? Early morning or late uh, after 7.30 p.m.? Ma'am, uh, in uh, 2 to 3, that, that time, they have a lunch break. 2 to 3, but that time the respective teacher should be free, no? That then separately, personally, you have to contact the teacher and uh, ask, okay? Okay, ma'am. Ah, so you have, now you don't, uh, okay? After we put the uh, this message in your official group, then you have to contact the teacher to ask. Uh, this is the issue, so when... But anyway, your parents should attend. But timing, you have to ask to the respective teacher. You are coming under okay. whom? Archana, ma'am. Ah, then you have to ask to Archana, ma'am, through message. Okay? Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Thank you, students. You all can leave. Hello, ma'am. Ah, yes. Uh, ma'am, my roll number is nine. Hmm? Uh, Ma'am, uh, communication skills, it's 58 and uh, it's default. But in web programming, it is also 58. So you you join the lecture now only. Already I said, CS ma'am considered minimum percentage as 75. I considered okay, minimum percentage as 50. Okay. But anyway, okay, I don't know. Now I have to confirm with Sudha, ma'am, whether we have to consider 75 percentage or 50 percentage. This is because anyway, we are going to call all the tea, all the students' parents. No, so I don't know. Okay, we have to that we have to check. Okay. 
Okay. But anyway, your names and roll numbers will be uh, put in the message. Okay. Whether you are defaulter or not. But anyway, all should attend the PTM. Okay. Oh, because uh, you are the first year after you, we started your uh, semester one, we did not conduct any PTM. So your parents may have some queries. Okay. So for all, we are conducting PTM. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Sorry, you? Ah, okay, okay. Do, do, do it, do it. I will just check. Ah. Ma'am? Ah, yes? Ma'am, when will the OS practical start? Like? Ah, actually, practical next week, however, I have to start. Today, NSM, no. Uh, in the evening, you have afternoon. No, ma'am. We had a practical. No, actually, your NSM, no. As per timetable, along with OS, right? One batch will attend OS practical. Another will go for NSM, right? Yes, ma'am. But ma'am took morning. Yes, ma'am. From 7.30. Yes. Every time she is taking like that only? Yes. Ah, okay. Then uh, what? Then I can uh, call the entire class instead of calling uh, batch wise. No, I can call entire class. But this week I am not going to start. Next week surely I will start. Okay. Because we have to install mm -hmm. Linux. Okay. But uh, Linux you can't install because uh, that need high specification memory specification. So virtual machine may only you have to upload that we can't you have to load but that we can't do in uh, home PC. So compiler online compiler we are going to use some online compiler. So all the Linux commands using that compiler we will execute and see. Okay. Okay ma'am. Ah, that only we did in the laboratory, in our practical, in our college laboratory when we do. We created the virtual machine, on that we loaded the Linux operating system. Okay. But uh, now in our uh, uh, online, no it is. So we will use the uh, compiler, that will be exactly like our Red Hat Linux only. Okay, there are some functionalities which will not be there. But anyway, for us, no, in your syllabus, you have basic commands in Linux. So to do that, this is enough, more than enough. Okay, online compiler. Okay, last year we used one compiler, but that was a trial version. So this time I have to check. But anyway, any, uh, any other, there are many uh, online compilers which are there to execute the Linux commands. I will find it. And next week, surely we will start the practicals. Okay. Okay, ma'am.